And in this particular position, Mochi is on roll and he just doubled. Up six pips in the race, 72 to 66. Uh, this looks quite clear to me and the take is also uh, clear here, Mochi. I would guess. I mean, it's a money take. It's certainly gonna be a match take at this score. And now Mochi is on roll. He, I guess I, I was told that he just rolled double sixes to get to this position, so. Um, well, we're going to see what happens. Very good. I forgot what I've been on. So, uh, you're your favorite. This is a routine race, up six pips, a little less than 10%. Right here, this makes Mochi about a 74.5% cubeless favorite. The cube equity gives Lars a clear take. All right, 5-3 is at least average. And now, three, ah, oh, no. Not a 3-1, he really needs a big number here. This is, this, he needs a big number to get, oh, double, five, what is that, 5-5. Five, five. Wow, what a tremendous strike by Mochi. Obviously, he's uh, really taking uh, command of this match, especially if he gets this one under his belt. Uh, yeah, this is too strong. Lars needs sixes or better. Uh, five. Oh, no. No, no. Sixes twice? I don't think I've seen sixes twice. Ah, two one. No, he just gives up. Yeah, he gives up. He takes a man off and then he hopes to roll it. And fives. Not sixes. Not fives, just sixes. Oh, the cousin. Threes. All right, that's better than nothing. But this is almost gin. We have to start with a six. And this is over. Wow. Tremendous uh, little game here for Mochi because it gets him to 20. 20 to 14 is a sizable lead here to 25. Five away, 11 away. Neil, what does that make him uh, equity-wise? What, what does he have here? Is he up to 70% or 75 even? He's more like 80, wow. Four to one shot. Six nothing to 11 is 80%, guys. So this is, an, this is what an 80% feels like, I guess. <laughs> 4-2, good roll, 6-1, good answer. All right, Trabi needs some rolls to get back in this match. 6-2, uh, so he runs, I like this. A 4 is very good, 5, where is the ace? Where is that ace? I play 24-23. But I wouldn't be surprised if the machine does something like that. Um, Neil, if you could check this little play. 5-1. All right, 5. Epperson error to slot. You don't want to slot. You want to split. I wonder if it's right to slot here. I would have slotted with a 6-5 there. I mean, I would have gone after him. And if he rolled like something like 5-2, I would have been doubling. Right now, I'd, I'd be doubling this. I slot with a 6-5, he rolls a 5-2, I just double. 2-5, and five. I, I think I like this, you have to do something here. Um, it's not like you can make the 3 point and then let, him, let Lars have a roll and make either the bar or the 5 point with, most, with a lot of rolls. Uh, I would hit here, uh, it, Neil, if you could, this is a tough play. I mean, this is obviously a tough play. Yeah, I, I, would, I would make and hit on the ace. Um, this is, uh, I mean, you, you, you try to do something here. With this play, you're not doing anything, really. You, you oh, it's 2% better than hitting on the ace? So good play by Mochi, it's close, but now, but now what should he do now? Because he's facing with the cube. If he's gonna split, he's gonna get the cube here, Neil. He's definitely getting the cube, and, and I wouldn't play 
Now, third, I would play six to three. You don't want to expose another guy if you do that. 13-8 does nothing. I mean, he's getting the cube here, all right? Question is, if, is he brave enough to really take this? This is a cube. All right, it, it, I mean, I mean, uh, no, 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 wait, 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 hold it. Oh, he did the same thing again on me. He did the same thing on me, he just rolled. He just rolled, he didn't listen to what I was saying. And now 3-1, I mean, uh, okay, I'm gonna hit. I mean, I'm gonna hit anyways. I mean, there's not much, what am I supposed to do? You not hit, let a man corrupt with a random deuce? Or even a 6-4, I mean, I'm just gonna hit. I mean, what is that? All right, he's just winning the game. Maybe that's right, Neil. Is that what is what is uh, the Jaganu says? Fifteen percent error, failure to double in that position. I think we can all see why. I can't believe that Lars is actually choking a bit here. I mean, what does he think that he can just like blow over and win game after game without using the doubling cube? Um, yeah, I don't really know what the clock is, but that's not much of a factor here. Two years, a random deuce. Oh, what should he do here? All right, he just points on him, right? Well, okay, we agree. Okay, I thought he was. I thought he was. That was obvious to me. Punished by dancing. 5-3. Oh, that's not a good roll. 5-3 is an anti-joker here. What should you do with 5-3? Two down? Yeah. All right, he better perform. He better roll like... An ace up. 4-2. Two. two for sure. I hit. Right? You don't want to... Yeah, you have to hit. Hope for the dance. Hope for the dance so you can double. Ace. No. Ace. But now where is the four? Down, in, out. What's going on? If Not out because this is not the time where you want to play with all these guys out. Four. Duplicates. What is that? Yeah, I like that play too. What is that? Two what? what that gets Lars back in the game actually at least he's got an anchor six up is good no okay the dues anchors up and then the five slots all right you go on and play this and the five is clear that's the five that's the dues and now even a four is good he doesn't even need to roll the three what is that a three one no five one ah uh, that's a really bad roll that's a really bad roll because you know you just want to make the prime and you have better timing and you can counter prime no, you can leave the fly shot. Oh, this, oh, well, this kind of is a stack. This could be okay, I suppose. I leave, I leave the fly shot. And also, you know, this way my double fives, if I roll it, it's not as bad. Remember your double fives, Neil? This kind of gets you off the double fives. The three in a row, you roll three in a row, but one is bad enough in this position. I, I leave the fly shot because the guy, you know, you have a, you know, he's got a blonde on the four. I, I leave the fly shot. But, I, you know, is this the right play, Neil? Is this the stack play? This doesn't look right. You know, because of the blonde and the five point. Uh, nine four, yeah. Nine four. But, I, but I wouldn't, but I wouldn't be, you know, Neil, what does it say about this one? Does he have the right idea there by making a stack play? I mean, he doesn't really give him much options. You know, you don't get many options by stacking him up like that and playing safe. What's the play, Neil? 9-4, 13-12? Yeah. How big an error is that? This is, this right here is about 0 0.06, 6% error. Wow. Just too stacked. Yeah, kind of like a 60 error. Um, gosh, uh, yeah, that's, is that the play? Okay, you, that's probably the play, but he makes his five good now. Okay, what is that, double threes? No. That's a, yeah. So Mochi has actually equalized, if not gotten better. Five threes going to the ace. He's got nothing better to do. He's actually equalized. I mean, he's got a better prime. 5-4. Wait, wait, wait a minute. No, no, you had to take time on this one, but he probably made the right decision, although I would have, I would have taken my time. 6 is out. That's fourth. Uh, the 5, of course, you're not going to leave a random 4, so you go all the way. Uh, okay, this is a big shot here for Lars. What does he roll? 6-6? Six, six? 
Oh no, that's terrible. 6-6 six, six now. Now Mochi can actually think about the cube here. I know he's up 20 to 14. This is somewhat like, but he's got such a nice position. No, come on, what is that? That's not even in the ballpark of any, of any ballpark. That's like a home run, that the ball is out. That, that, that can't be anything. Sometimes I don't understand why we look at these plays, but we do. Anyways, it goes all the way. I would consider doubling this. I would double for my money, I don't care. I got a great position here. Let, let my opponent take it if he wants. Let him, let him roll fives. Let him, let him, you know, let him, uh, let him think about this cube. I think Lars is gonna pass. That's my personal opinion. I would, I would pass, but maybe it's a take. Oh, no double take, wow, that's great. Oh, no double take, probably due to the score. Uh, but this is a great double because, you know, it, Mochi did this before, and certainly if you can get somebody like me, myself to pass, then Lars would be, would, could easily pass this as well. I mean, Mochi's like doing this again, and uh, I think he's gonna get, get away with it again. Great, great, I mean, this is a great double. And I don't care what Snowy says. I mean, I don't care what Snowy says about this position. I mean, uh, you know, we, we are humans. Oh yeah, he passes, okay. So once again, uh, this is the second time and now we're finally, we can see that Mochi is actually really taking over. This, according to the rollout I have going here, as well as the GNU evaluation, passing that cube at that score is a major, major mistake. Almost a point, th almost a point three error. What we are seeing here is that Lars is becoming too tight. He is failing to take the score into account. He's not doubling when he should be doubling with threats at the score and he's not taking cubes to give him a chance to get lucky and turn the match around on a four cube if he gets any kind of luck. Well, you know, Lars, oh, what a great shot. Four, three anchors up, and now Mochi's really got a great position because we can see that it's very, gonna be very hard for him to get Gammon from this position. So it's like he, has, he can take almost any cube from this point on, if, even if the position becomes worse. Anyways, taking a lead, 21-14. It's a substantial lead, and he's actually looking to ro roll a, a joker here to finish this game off, in a way. He rolls 4-1, ace for sure, 4 I bring down, I don't double hit, although that could be right. Even with, the, maybe, maybe with the blood on the 4 point, it would be right to hit, Mochi sees this, he does it quickly. Okay, that, that, that probably was the right play. You know, you just want to scramble home, you're not looking to make any, ace 4, okay, hits and covers. Right, you don't want him to roll a five and anchor up. What is this, four and a one? Four and a random ace. Uh, it seems like I'm gonna play 23-22, but I'm not sure. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna go to the five to give a good ace. But I'm not sure about this one. Yeah, I like this idea. You know, you're, you're getting closer to coming out. This is good for coming out. Six, five, okay, safe, safe, safe. 13 to two, you're ahead in the race, most likely. Oh, what, what, no, 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 wait a minute now. Wait a minute, we don't need this. We don't need this, right? I mean, we're ahead in the race. Well, what is that? You can just give, no, no, that was the wrong, oh, he danced, he danced. Oh my God, it worked. He danced and now, I mean, you don't double this. You just play for the Gavin. You know, you're up 21-14. This is an easy take. This would be, this would be a bad decision by Mochi to actually get the cube here. I think because I think the take is, is clear, and and Lars is going to get his chances to swing. I, I think I think he should just shoot. But what is what is snowy? What is what do we have here, Neil? Like a Doubling here due to the score would be like a point five error. Okay, the, pro the problem is Lars just, gra Lars just grabs the cube and if he ever turns it around, he sends it back at four and then uh, heaven help Mochi should he somehow, this game blow up in his face, he loses the gammon. This is, this, is, this, is this is going to ruin Mochi's error rate for the entire match. Oh no, this is a bad, bad, you know, this is just a bad, bad decision and you can see what is happening here. Mochi is influenced by the fact that he just doubles 
and then Lars is just passing these cubes. And this could be part of the reason why he's doubling this, because he's just going to get a point. But even if that's so, even if I knew that he was passing, I would just shoot. This position is clearly a double for money, but it's still a take. And when you have this kind of lead in the match, and there's contact like this, fine, Mochi doesn't see too many gammons, losses for him, et cetera, et cetera. But they can happen. He hasn't closed them out yet. And Lars has just tremendous recube vigorous here. This is the easiest take of all time, and Mochi's double is a huge, huge mistake. I mean, he's ruining his error rate with this. Maybe he's trying to bluff, but, you know, when you, co when you corner a wild animal, they bite you. This, this, pass is a this pass is so bad, I cannot believe I've seen it with my own eyes. According to the ongoing rollout, Lars has passed a take that is worth about .12. In other, wor in other words, Lars has blown seven-eighths of, seven of a point by passing this. So what we are seeing here is uh, major deterioration in these players' error rates, especially Lars's. Yeah, Mochi, of course, he gets penalized, but we don't really care that he gets penalized because he's completely in control outplaying his opponent. I mean, we've got to give him that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, Lars is just passing cubes. He thinks that he can just... Lars has been, like, always, like, behind in matches, and he's come back. He thinks that he can just, like, do this over and over and over, and this is not the right idea. Anyway, he couldn't even look like almost double this position. Of course, he just rolls. Yeah, he can just roll, but, I mean, he can take a minute to think about it. It's, it's hard. All right, three and a five, so, so three, you have to make the five point. Uh, the five, uh, you don't want to really hit. You just want to make, I think you want to make the eight, but okay, he hits. It's okay. Can't be bad. Oh, he made the eight anyways. All right. All right, Neil likes this move. Four, two, makes the anchor. Oh, no, it's four, it's four, five, sorry. A four is big. 5-3 again, makes it. All right, Lars has finally got a good game going for him. 4-2, though, is not a good shot. It leaves another blot. Oh, no, it's double fours. It's even better than I thought. This is actually a good roll, even though it leaves a shot. Mochi typically would even want to roll a deuce or a four. He rolls a deuce. He doesn't get the four, but he does this, and he's in the game forever now. 6-1 um, is good. What is that, 5-2? Is that a 5-4 or 5-2? 5-2. All right, so 5 and a deuce. You don't need the 11 point. Good decision there, I think. Four wide slots. And now all he wants to do is really make the bar and kind of get a double in sixes. All right, that's a bit fast, but we'll take it. We'll take this roll. I think that goes to the ace, right? This, this, this definitely goes to the ace. I don't see why not. Oh, is he trying to be tricky again? Kind of feels like Lars is like in some sort of a resigning sort of like mode. He's unhappy, we know why. Two, three, Mochi is like a robot. Just doing his thing. Six, two. Six. Is that, does that go to the ace? I guess that goes to the ace, huh? I think that goes to the ace. Yeah, he doesn't have a double. The, the <laughs> well, um, you know, if Lars puts his checkers in correctly or in the spares, it's going to be an easy pass. You understand, Neil? So it's a, if he rolls like a 1-3 here. He did. He rolled a 1-3. See, now he has a double. Now he has a double, and I think Mochi may pass. Now he's got a double, and I think Mochi's going to pass this. There's not much play here anymore. Even though we think that as if we have a bad game, this is not much of a bad game. There's hardly any bad rolls. There's hardly any bad rolls for uh, Lars. Now, Mochi showed me this sort of position a long time ago, and, and, and he knows the answer. This is the reason that he passed. 
I know that most players will take this, but this is actually a pass. 22 to 15, Mochi is ahead, in the, you know, in the match, and uh, he didn't want to get involved in a position that he can accidentally get gammoned. What does the evaluation say? He's take? Yeah, but, but mis they mis-evaluate this. This is why this is a pass, Neil. I assure you this will be a pass on the rollout. It will be a pass. Double sixes anyways. <coughs> this is a great roll for Lars. Finally, he's back in the game. 4-2. Either I split with both or... I think I just split with both, but that could be the wrong idea. No, I don't do that deuce. I do the other deuce. <coughs> and this is why. Now, if he rolls a three, it would have been linked up. Anyway, this is going to be a double out. Oh, one. Wow, he would have been, yeah. Yeah, this is a double. This is a double out for me. I pass. I'm not taking this cube. I don't care. I'm up 22 to 15. I'm behind the race. It's a take for money. Um, he's passing. Another one point. This is what Lars has been doing to his opponents. He thinks he can just blow them over by winning game after game after game. <coughs> Typically the wrong attitude. You know. He's not playing by himself, you know. It's not like he can just win. But any game that Mochi kind of gets the lead or is in a good position is going to be very crucial to determining the final result of this great match. Because he's got 22, he's just three away here. All right, this is a good big shot. Obviously, you don't want to see a six. He rolled a six. He comes out. I, for myself, would think about the double. I wouldn't double, but I would think about it. Anyway, five and what? Five and f five up certainly wouldn't be good. Oh, yeah, five. Is that a five and a one? Five and a six. Yeah, he's got to hit twice. He's got he's to hit twice. Yeah, you got to hit twice there. You got to hope that he comes in with a funny number and then you can double like a 3-6 or a 4-6. Would be a tremendous double. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. All right, hope he doesn't hit you. 2-2. Two, two. That doesn't hit, but perhaps it's better than hitting. How do you play it, Neil? I make the 4.2. 6-5, typically a bad roll. Doesn't make the five point, doesn't do anything, anything good. What do you do here? You bring two down, what, what is going on here? Can you bring two down, duplicate some three? Yeah, I guess I bring two down, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do here. Oh, the three point is not, yeah, the three point. Two down, the three point is no good. I'm not sure about this play because now you lose touch with the outfield and you leave blots. Oh my god, what is all that? Double ones. Well, that <laughs> at least he did that. <laughs> I guess he has to, right? And then 13 12 would be the other as opposed to 23 22. Oh, really? Okay. The computer uh, was indifferent about the 6-5. It was just a bad roll. Double ones? No. Give me double ones so you can play it. That, that can't be double ones because then it'd be too easy. Maybe it's 3-1. So ace with a random number. Ace with a 6, ace with a 5. Well, it can't be ace with a 4 because then he would play the ace. <coughs> So, so what to do? We don't know what this other die is, but but it seems like Mochi got it. Okay, so it's three, two, one. All right. So if he rolls double sixes again, he'd be in trouble. But this is not such a good roll, actually. Right. He's got to do that. He, he's got to hit. He's got a better board. Lars has got blots galore. Okay, so the 2-1 was too big. What is that, 3-1? No, that's a 3-1. Three, 3 and you just cover. What are you doing? That's a 5-point, right? 
Yeah, you just hope that he stays out or it's something bad or double ace. What is that? One, oh, and he switches? Oh, no, and he switches. He's got to switch and then make... Of course you got to switch. Oh, that's good too. Oh, yeah. That's good too. Yeah, that's actually good too. I didn't see that. Good thing you did that, huh? One, two, for sure. He's got to lift. He's got, you know, there's no need to... He's got to lift. I think he's got to lift. I, I, I would lift. No, you don't, you don't really want that. You don't want to commit yourself to anything here. You want to be as flexible as possible. Uh, you know, you want to... What is this? Oh, yeah, leave the blood, you think? You just get him off the anchor, maybe? You like that idea, Neil? You mean if he rolls like a 5-1 and he's hitting, you know, he gets some returns? Ah, good play then, huh? All right, five, and then the deuce is from the back. Maybe you're not supposed to hit with the 5-2, huh? How about that? Why, why be anchorless? Now you're going to get hit. If you roll something bad, you're going to get in trouble. Why, why hit? You got all the timing in the world. I, I think the hit was wrong. I mean, I wouldn't hit. That was a good play by Lars. For the first time, he was able to trick Mochi. 4-6, huh? Run out, cover and hit. If you cover, you must hit. What should he do? He can't really go out all the way. That just kind of gives too much. I think I would just like do this. I would hit, I would cover and hit. Hope he dances and then move it, move out. I mean, what is that? I mean, I'm just he's just gonna get hit when, even with a random five. Forget about the deuce. I mean, I, I would just hit him and hope he dances. That gives. Oh, that's a four and a six. That gives too much. That's a four and a six, even a five, two hits, but the six would be really big there. Yeah, I just hit, I just do that. I don't know what's right, but that kind of makes sense to me. I hit, I hope he stays out, and then I just move, move out. But that's a tough play, that's a, that's a tough play. I mean, uh, I don't blame him for making this play. What's the, what's the play? Out? Okay, four, three is not a good roll. Okay, so now he's got to bring a guy in. This play kind of worked. This play worked. Now he needs a three. Does he get it? He gets it. A three with something. I hope it's not a five. Three, one, okay. <clears throat> okay, the computer makes a really big play there. We're just moving out. I guess that kind of makes sense because you're just going to get stuck. Anyway, it worked, and now Lars actually has got something. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to, I mean, I think Mochi made a mistake with hitting with the 5-2. I think that's going to be pivotal in this, in this situation. 6-2, that's actually an empty joker. 6, and you're not going to leave any more blocks. He's going to have to play 6-4 to four with the 2. All right, 6 and 2, yeah, that's it. That's all he could do. Now, now I would just double, of course. I would, I would go for this. Okay, now he's taking his time, rightfully so. This is some, he's somewhat reached a crossroad here. He's got numbers that make the defensive five point, which is a bit, no, 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 stop. What are you doing? Four, two is a good roll. That makes the five point. I mean, you're not worried about getting hit. You don't want to be hit. You duplicate some bases, but now, now it's going to be too late. I mean, this is, a, I mean, this is just too late. He's just going to pass if he doesn't roll something really good. 5-3, okay, that's, that's nothing good. That's too late. That's just too late. He misses his mark again. It's unbelievable. He does this consistently. He's a consistent abuser of the cube. Um, you know, failure to, to use the cube when you're stuck in a match. Mochi, you can think all you want. This is, this is nothing. You're going to pass. Just make a move, all right? Just hit, hit the deuce and play to the ace. Don't even do that. Yeah, do this. Now you double. You're not going to take this. I'm not taking that. I don't know. I mean, is he taking this? Okay, he's got a lot of men back, but I mean, but I mean, at 22 16, is he supposed, I mean, are you supposed to take this, Neil? Yeah, wow, it's a take. How big is that? Oh, okay. He took it. Oh, very good. Very good decision. I would have passed. I would have passed. I would have passed for sure, but. 
I mean, of course for money, I mean, this is nothing. But, but I mean, just at the score, I mean, I was just a pass. But this is great. This is a great take by Mochi. And he's a really true champion. And this is why he's gotten this far. Okay, Ace, you got to hit. You don't have a five, so you, don't, you can't make the three point. You got to hit and come in. Um, the five, you're not going to hit on the do. Oh, are you? Can, you? can you gain some tempo? Yeah, actually, you're going to hit. Maybe you can hit. All right, you didn't hit. Three, what is that, three, one again? All right, so you come in on the ace and you have a builder there, and you, you come up forward, you give yourself a spare on the five, that's clear play. This is ridiculous. Oh, he did that, what are you doing? Why, why did he do that, Neil? Look at this, four, one. Oh, now he's stuck. Now, now what is that? Why did he do that? He doesn't need it, he's just going forward. What's the point of that? What is that, three, four? Now he's got a hit. Now he's got a hit. That's right, with all those blocks, he's got a hit. I mean, this is forced, okay? I mean, if he doesn't do this, this will be like, uh, you know, he, can't, he cannot come out. I don't believe this. I don't, I don't think that that's, oh my God. You know, with all these blocks, he does that? All right, four, okay, so, so four. Four, you, you, you safety and you bring a guy in, you don't hit, obviously. You, you, you know, this is what you do, and then you just hope that you're gonna roll a six. Four, three again, so where's the three? Oh, wow, what is he gonna do now? Hitting was right by 4% with the four. Um, but the previous, yeah, when he came in with the three, four. Yeah, now with this, what I, what I do is, I don't do that. I don't do that. If I, if I have to do something like that, I may as well hit. I mean, but, but still, uh, but still, I mean, you know, it would be interesting if he does that and then Mochi rolls double aces. Yeah, I mean, I would probably, I don't know actually what I would do. I think this is a hard play, no matter how you, you slice it. I, I may do that, I may do that, you know. Very good play by Lars. I, I mean, I, you know, it's a nice idea. The six is big. Ace four, wow. Well, now he's gonna have to hit. Yeah, this is, yeah, now he can't, he can't help it anymore. He's gonna have to hit and maybe go to the ace, I don't know, but he, he can't make a play that doesn't do anything. Now, now you gotta hit, now he's actually, even a six five, for example, makes a nine point, I mean, uh, the prime. But the point being is that you have to do something now. Now you can't play safe anymore. Oh, really? You cannot, oh, he, he didn't hit? I would have hit, for sure. For sure I would hit. 6-1 it looks like. And if that's a 6-1, then you have to hit and go to the deuce because you don't have a better ace unless you come out with the six. Maybe you come out with the six and lift with 9-8. Yeah, I guess you're stuck. Yeah, I guess I would come out with the six and play 9-8. Right. Okay. Yeah, I like this play. Yeah, that's the other play. That's the other play. Oh, this is a mistake, right, Neil? Small, okay, four percenter, not the worst. We've seen two, and the four actually covers. But he's still stuck behind the prime. He better not crack here, huh? Ace four does not crack. It just ma remakes the five point. No, 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 you just remake the five point. What is it, you know, what is that? No, 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 you make the five point. Six, five, you, that brings all of them in. This is actually a pivotal game in a match, obviously. I mean, if Mochi just is able, oh yeah, two, four, tremendous. He doesn't crack, he doesn't do anything. Ace, no ace, five, two. Actually, uh, Lars finally got to a great position uh, because now he's got the outfield. He's be Mochi's behind that prime, he's gonna crash. He's got to play a 2-5 here. The 5 is there, the 2 is there. Not much he could do. Now he's just going to come out. 4-1. All right, wait one more roll before you come out, let him crash. Ace, oh, the ace is big. Ace was big with a spare 5 to play. 3-2, what to do? All right, Neil, I hit. I don't give him a 6 out. I know that coming in is certainly I hit, I got, I mean, I can't let him roll a six. I just, it's not my style. 
Right. I, I hit there. I go all out. I mean, you know, he's still got a blind the ace. I don't let him roll a six there, Neil. Computer hits by how much? Nice play by Lars. Big play there. Oh, and it worked. It certainly worked. What a huge dance there. Five is easy. Five is easy. Well, then the three is easy. Ah, uh, I think you want to cover. Yeah, cover, leave the two six. That's all he's got. And even that doesn't win. Two one. That's a really nice roll. Comes in with the two. Say, you know, makes the ace. And now what, a four one? Wow. Is, oh no, it's a four three, Neil. That's a really uh, bad, that's a really bad roll there. I like this play. Uh, I don't think I leave the direct, but I do this too. He finally left the anchor. Now his six is strong and all these other guys are strong. Okay, three, four, that's a pick and pass. He can't play it any other way. That's four, it's unfortunate for Lars that he had to leave because four, three would be horrible. And, and a random ace. At least he came in. I mean, that's a shame that he had to give up the anchor one, one roll sooner than he'd wanted to. 4-3 would have been a disaster for Mochi. Yeah. Just do that. A six is tremendous, of course. Double fives. Oh, that's a great shot for Lars. Now Lars is in command, in big command here. 2-1, two, two hits. 2-1, two, you don't want to go to the ace. It doesn't do anything. You want to do this. You just want to cover. This is a big roll. And fans. A four is huge. Four. No. What is Oh, I need a five. Wow. <laughs> oh, five was duped. I was thinking a four was good. A four was good. Anyway, deuce here. Oh, he rolled a six up. He fanned. All right. Now any number is good, right? Oh, no. Not a six one. What are you doing? All right. I actually make the ace, huh? Just hope that he stays out, right? That's it, that's the way to go. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to do it. Yeah, you gotta stop him from coming in, right? Just stop him from coming in for one roll. Stop the guy from coming in. No, you don't need the prime, you don't need that. Just just make make the big play, leave, leave those silly numbers, whatever that may be. Two, five, whatever. No, no, this is force, Neil. This, this, there's no other play, this, this is no other play. No, no, no. This wins more games, maybe, but I mean, this is uh, this is wrong. He can just come in now on the two. He fans big. No, what do you do? Okay, you close the mud. That's not what we want. Just come out. He gets another shot to another shot to roll an ace and lift. A three up, no good. Now he's gonna take it. Now he's gonna what? No hit. God, what's going on here? Oh, what a big roll by Mochi. What a huge, huge roll. That, I mean, that was a tremendous roll just to not get hit again. Mochi definitely wants to avoid a game at all costs. But I mean, I mean, this particular game, if I was to review it for one second, this whole variation was led because, you know, Lars made a really nice play leaving that five and he, he came off the anchor. I don't think that matters what you do here. You just want to get another guy. And he got the ace. I mean, he's like a favorite to get it, I think. Ace, 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 he hits, he hits, he hits another guy. Oh, he finally got what he wanted. Hey, you know, he finally got what he wanted. After the closeout here, this position is really almost 50% gammons for Lars, not the 40 that the books used to say, because Lars will t bear off very, very aggressively because he has no fear of Mochi's board. Good point, Neil. I didn't even think of that. You're right. I mean, uh, th this is, of course, a no-brainer here to bear off and just take men off at all costs. Right. Yeah, you don't, you don't need to... Wow, this is a real shame here. I mean, uh, Mochi was well in, in command, but now... Now it's a shame for him because, yeah, of course. Of course you take it off. 3-2 is perfect. 3-2 is perfect. Wow, I'm tremendous, tremendous. Six. Oh, double sixes. Oh, wow. Of course, he better not get tripled. 4-3. <laughs> wow. Another double, it's a triple. Nah, bad roll there. Okay, but still. 
Come in with one, maybe. Oh, come in with both. Now you can save it. Okay, go all the way to the 10. Right, another, yeah. I mean, it's going to be close, right, Neil? This is pretty close, isn't it? Now a six up probably saves the Gavin. Two one does not. Two one does not. This is the Gavin shot. Now he's a huge favorite for the Gavin. Double twos, that didn't matter that much. Didn't matter at all. Now he needs like 11 or better to just have a chance. All right, give him his best. <laughs> give him his best. I don't know what the best may be. Double fives doesn't get him off, right? right? No, it does get him off. Double fours gets him off. Double fours, this is best. He only gets double fours. He gets double fives, right? Yeah. Yeah, so all he could hope for is... Uh, yeah, wow, what a turnaround, huh? Five, four. He gets Gammon, and we may get a break in the action. I mean, who knows? What a great comeback, you know, by Lars Trebold. I mean... Uh, I mean, this is a tremendous match. And it feels like this is even money now, even though it's like 2-0 to 5. Oh, what a great, great match. Trebolt has been coming back from behind throughout this tournament. He's come from any score. Unbelievable comeback. Now we got us a match. Mochi is unable to crack that that 22 mark. Oh, 3-1. That's big. Lars has to come back with a good shot. 4-2 is good enough. We'll take it. Mochi. 3-2. Either two down or this. Double fives would be a crusher, huh? 6-3 hits. Hits. That's a big, big roll. Three up would be big. No, he didn't. No, he came in. Five and six. Anyway, this is not a good roll. Yes, you're right, Neil. I mean, I would, I would think about doubling this, you, you know. You know, you can win a lucky gammon here with a random, you know, double threes or fives, right? That's right. I mean, if, if Lars just doubles, Mochi can't even turn the cube almost. Anyway, he has a tough six to play. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't do that. I would go, I would go from the f to the 14 point, what is that, 5-3? Why didn't he consider double fives? He lose. Why didn't he think about the double? I mean, this is ridiculous. He loses his mark. He didn't even think. I mean, what? Five, five up. That was optional. And when it's optional, you have to double. Now, 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 look at this position, Neil. He hit loose on the five. He came back with a random five and a, and a number that danced. And now he's on the roof. And of course, now I would just double this. I would just double this and, and, and let him take the cube. I mean, it's a take. You know he can't pass this up. Oh, come on, what are you doing? Fours. He lost his mark again, maybe. He's going to hit, and the guy's not going to roll five. He's going to play on. This is going to be a play on if he doesn't roll a five or a double two. Double two. Oh, my God, I called it. <laughs> I mean, that's it. How could he do that? Of course you make the four. What else could you do? What else can you do here? You rolled the second best roll maybe on the dice. I mean, it's like the best, what is, where is the, oh, he can hit the other guy. So what's the point of that? Of course. Oh, you know, he just wants to win a game. And if he makes this play, he just like wants to get this match over with. But the best way to get it over with is just to make that four point. Yeah, Mochi, Mochi, I mean, uh, I mean, he should know better than to do that. I mean, all right, you stop him from making a five point by making this. Okay, maybe it's right. I mean, who knows? Well, at least at least he stops him from making a random roll that comes in and covers the five point. Maybe maybe it is right to hit too. I take it back. I mean, he, he, you know, there's some shots here where red comes in and makes a five. All right, it's interesting to see it. Yeah, I mean, maybe this is the right play, actually. I, I mean, I, I probably, I would make this move. I don't know if it's good or not, but I would do that. News says the four-point is right by 6.7%, 0.067. I mean, a, I mean, the four-point is just where those checkers want to go. Mochi does not want a ton of volatility, because when Mochi gets hit and rolls poorly, he's going to eat the cube. Yeah, this is a, just makes a solid game, I guess. I guess you got to give him the uh, ace-four, two-four, and three-four. Um, 
I'm sure that that's the only thing that Mochi is thinking about. Otherwise, he wouldn't even think about this play. If, if the checker wasn't there, I mean, he wouldn't even be thinking. You know, he's just afraid that, the, that Lars is going to come in and, 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 remake, and make the five point. Uh, maybe he wins more gammons with this move. I don't know. Of course, at this score, you're not really looking to win a gammon, right, Neil? You just want to clinch. Okay, Neil said that you're, you're just looking to make a play that loses less gammons if all else is equal. Anyway, what do you roll? Two what? Roll out, oh, three, one. Oh, tremendous. Five and what? Five and two. All right, that's, that's big. Two, and now, and what are you going to do with the five? You can't come out, so you got to play this, right? All right, Lars, Lars needs a three. He could use a three. That's a good roll. Four up is not going to be good, so the four is clear. Oh, it, will you come out? I, I mean, I come out. I, I mean, this is a clay case for... No, 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 no. Uh, wait, you come down, you, you strip the mid, you come down, you, st you stay. Oh, four and one. Why didn't he just play today at the eight point? What was he afraid of? Well, I mean, he just leaves us some numbers, but what? Well, so what? You don't want the spare on a six point there. Five, and now the ace. I wonder what the right play was on that on that four. I would have come out for sure. Six five. Oh, look at this trouble. He's got to go all the way. He, you know, he's got to leave the anchor. Yeah, he's gonna leave the anchor and he's gonna hit him with some whatever he can, I suppose, or if he can. He, he did. Wow, that's a tremendous roll. Now four, now ace and three. That's a good roll because he's gonna hit him back. I mean, obviously, obviously, he's gonna hit. It's, no, what, no, wait, hey, hey, hey. stop. <laughs> no, he's not gonna make this play. No, he, he was just, he was just doing that on purpose to do that to us. Big roll and, oh my God, double aces, two. Th no, no, just safety, all safe, all. You know, you can't. Oh, you can switch. No, uh, wait a minute, this board is too strong. No, if you're gonna do that, you may as well switch. Yeah, you know, you're gonna switch, sure, switch. You can't leave a direct shot. Oh, the fours! Wow, that was tremendous. So, of course, he's gonna hit. Yeah, he's gotta play all out here. He's gotta play all out. He's gotta make a big play here. I double. I double and I pass. I'm gonna pass this cube if I don't enter. Okay, so he has to roll again, and he dances, he dances, he dances, the score is 22-20, he dances, this is a tremendous moment at the match. Alright, I'm told that Mochi has, alright, Mochi has about five and a half, which is plenty of time, believe me, and Lars is 13, which is obviously enough. Okay, now Lars is finally at this, I, I'm passing this cube, I, I can't get another guy hit, and this must be a pass. I mean, I'm going all out for this. I'm never taking this. I don't care what Snowy says. I have the computer evaluation ready to go, and I'm going to disagree with my most esteemed colleague here and say that I'm taking, the, I'm taking this cube because I have four of my opponent's checkers back. If, I, if, if Lars doubles, I'm going to take and uh, try my luck. There's no way, not, my, not for my money. He has a seven that makes a five point board. He's got 11, he's got a 10 hitting another guy. There's no way, there's just too many numbers. Wow, point, it's a big take. Wow, I'm not, I wouldn't take it. This is just too easy. Very good, very good, tough decision. This is a very tough decision. I guess, I guess Red has a lot of work, how do you? A lot of work, he's gotta, he's gotta cover, he's gotta hit. I mean, of course for money I would take it, but I mean, at the score, I never take these. I think Mochi's gonna pass, I think he's gonna, oh, he took it! Wow, great take by Mochi, good, good for him. Roll out is saying point eight take, good take by Mochi. Well, of course I would roll it out, you know. Of course, but you know, you can see some of the problems. I mean, uh, okay, he just needs to come in. Okay, he needs to come in, but 
Yeah, I know the circumstances are three one, but the seven was a tremendous shot. What is he doing? What is that? Why does he play so safe? He had no choice? Oh, he didn't have an ace, huh? He had no ace. Ah, you know, you don't want to put yourself on the 23 points stuck like that. He does a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he has a lot of work to do, but of course he's just threatening to hit the other man. You mean just to get in and then and then you know he will he won't be attacked or how do you play six? I guess it's easy. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, a four and a two gets him good. He grows a five what? Double five. Okay, it doesn't hit. We know that. The five comes out. I guess it's a five one. That's that's all he could do. Of course. This is a clear play. This is an absolute clear play. I mean this is not even, you know, this is not in the ballpark of really thinking here. I mean, you, 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 no, what is that? That doesn't, no, 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 no. 5 1. You just come out, you spread out all the guys. I mean, you know, you know, he comes in and hits you, so what? I mean, well, you, you're never happy, but you don't want, you don't want to get in this situation here where you're stuck in a deuce point. You know, I would have passed the cube. That's what I would have done. It would have been a big mistake. But I would, I would never mind. Like, I could live with that sort of mistake for myself. You could see the nature of this position. It's way too easy. Yeah, of course. Of course. This is clear. You don't want to get stuck on a 23 point in case the guy comes in. Yeah, you, coming out is huge. This is a 20 percenter if you don't come out. Um, yeah, this is typically this is the wrong idea. You also crack with double threes. You crack a little bit if you make this play. Um, I don't know why he's taking this long. I mean, this is obvious. I mean, what's going to happen is if you come out and you get hit, you know, you have to come in against a three-point board. Of course, you can stay out, but... Yeah, there's, plenty, there's always going to be plenty of returns, but you just want to get out. I mean, you, you don't really have to worry about getting hit. Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. You want to come out and you want to shoot at that second man. Yeah, this is an easy play, actually. Just made it that much harder. He's got he's to gotta roll. Any ace is good. An ace. Ace! Any hit. Ace. Oh, my God. That was a tremendous... The three is clear, I guess. You, no, why, why, why that? Why that? Of course, and you duplicate the aces and the fours. This is why. All right, this is a big roll coming up. And two. I see a two. And the six is going to be forced, practically. Well, it, yeah, I think that's what you want to do because you don't want to give him a six out. Yeah, th this, here, this here leaves two. Yeah, you want to do that. Duplicate the aces and the sixes. All right, this is a big roll, but that was, that was big. 5-4, four. the 4 is, is forced four to hit, and then the 5 is down. We all can see that. This is not a play not to hit. You have to hit. Okay, I think a 5 up, I'll take a 5 up in this position, even though, it, let's see, and 2-6. Oh, now you're forced, and now, what, yeah, now an ace is good, a 6 is good. 4-2 is actually a joker. Yeah, he makes a prime. He's got three behind it. And 5-4. Wow. Finally, a turnaround in this game. You could see what's going on here. Mochi's just going to hold on to the cube. Never a reason to use it. All right, and he never comes out, but that's okay. <coughs> Question is, Neil, do you leave the 10 point and come in, or do you just play stiffy, stiffy? I leave it because... I mean, I'm not worried so much here. I play down and in. I mean, I leave the two, I think I leave the two six, or at least if I don't, I bring another guy in. Maybe I bring another guy in, I don't know. I mean, I think I leave the two six, but I don't know, maybe. I mean, certainly you don't wanna play 13-8. Certainly that's not the idea, this is the two. 
Yeah, I mean, maybe you want to do this. Two six is a big is a big uh, swing. Maybe Mochi is right. Maybe this is the best flight. I take it back. I would not leave the two six. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't want to make the four port. I just want to get out. I don't leave the two six. I don't leave it. I mean, it's a big swing if I leave it too. I I don't I don't leave the two six. I make this this sort of play. I let him. You know. Oh, he did. He left it. He left it. It's a big play. 6-5 is a terrible roll. And now Mochi, of course, shouldn't even be thinking about anything except rolling. This is inconsequential. I mean, you just roll. You win a gamut. You win the match. I mean, you hope to hit. You hit with the ace-deuce. You think about slotting. You never slot. Uh, <laughs> you never slot. You, you, you. Yeah, you, well, this is a bit stiff, but we'll take it. Uh, two what? Double two! Well, <laughs> at least it's something, but it's a little too late, I think. Okay, he's got to, you know, he's got to cover up the blood, I think. I think he's got to cover up, or maybe, or no, I think he's got to cover up. I think you want to stay on the deuce. I don't think you want to step up. Yep, that's a good roll, at least for starters. He may get him off the gammon. Well, anyway, if Mochi wins this match and this game, I mean, he deserves it. He took a cube that I would not have taken. He made all the right decisions. The man, the man is a machine. You can never take it away from him. Yeah, you leave the double sixes, I think. I, you know, he doesn't win the game for him. You just leave it. You leave the, you know, he doesn't win the game. 4-3, make the ace point. And just keep on rolling. Yeah, yeah. Later, later, tomorrow. Tomorrow. This is a cue for tomorrow, not today. Let, let's go. 6-2. It's a bit stiff, a bit stiff. All right, bring it, you know, play it, play it like, like, you know. Yeah, leave the shot, all right. Um, all right, so I don't know what he wants to roll. Maybe out? Is that double two? No, that's a bad roll. That's a 4-2. Just keep on rolling, keep on rolling. Just keep on rolling. Five is easy, three is easy. All in, all in. This is an all in moment. All right. I don't know if you. I don't know if you want to come out. I mean, I mean, I don't know what. I'm, I'm five six. Just come out with that. Oh, what is that? Six with what? Now he's gonna hit him with anything, huh, Neil? You hit with a three what? With a, what is that? A three six? No, three six again. Six up is terrible. We know that. That's a six. We know where the five goes. All right. Actually, Lars can hit here, and uh, wow. This is a really bad roll. Did he hit? 2-1. Oh, it's a bad roll. Now he's going to play on again. He's going to play on. And 2-1. A hit is, by, f I mean, by definition, anything that doesn't hit is ridiculous. We know that. Just hit first and think later. Hit and come in, all right? Just play one block. Yeah, yeah. Just hit. Just hit. See, this is the sort of play. Just play all out. You, you're, not, you're not worried here about losing this game. You're holding the cue. Guy broke down to a four-point board, a crushed four-point board. If you should lose this game, you should. But just shoot. It's like a free roll. But this is like a free roll. You're just shooting for the gamut. You can't really lose this game. You got to hit. I mean, uh, this is like a, a free roll. So just hit, Mochi. You know, I know you're scared, but go ahead. <clears throat> Typically, a lot of people would always, like, think about, like, an hour about this play. I mean, there's nothing to think about. He's in a commanding position, holding the cube, up two points in this match. I mean, he's got like probably like two or three minutes left on this clock, which actually doesn't mean anything almost. Because should he win a game and the match ends, of course you hit. Four. Four and a five. Yeah, you, you don't want to come. Yeah, I guess. He can double this. He can double this if he wants. He can double this, but I think he's just shooting. No hit. Really? Oh, look at that. I would have hit for sure, Neil. I, I would have hit for sure. I mean, I'm not worried about losing this game. A deuce is big. He got the deuce. He goes all the way. He goes all the way with the four. This is clear. And now he's really played off on the gammon again. Lars wants to come in on the four. Two. Well, this is better than dancing, so... Yeah, yeah, Neil, I agree. This is a blood, huh, Neil? It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. 
Yeah, I may want to play it that way. What's the big deal? I just double. I double out. How about that? I forget about the game and I do something like that. I double. Is this a take? Could this be a take? So he's going to get that maybe, huh? Would you leave the direct? He did. Okay, I don't blame him. I don't blame him for this. I don't blame him for that. Oh, that hits. How about now? He can cash now, can't he? What do you mean you don't think so? All right. Well, I would have doubled. Maybe he would have passed. How do you know? He passed. He hit. Lars passes all the time. Why shouldn't he double this? I would, I would have doubled for sure. Let him take it. Let me play it for the match then. The hell with it. If I lose this match, I lose this match. Now it's too late. Now it's too good again. Yeah, now, now, now it's too good. I mean, I think it's too good, or it's, at least it's close. Double fours, one, two, where does that go? It goes to a good spot. Good, and now it's a play out. Four, one, typically a bad roll there. Um, six, five, all right, went men off. He got men off, he's no blots, and he's really, he's probably got like 20% to gammon here, doesn't he? All right, now he doesn't have that. What is this, probably, like, what is this, like a 15 percenter? This is an anti-joker, of course. Double two was tremendous uh, blunder there. Anyways, uh, blunder roll, five up, six ups, deuce, two the ace, I would guess. I don't think, no, I, I, don't, I don't need that. I just want to take man off. I just go to the deuce. I just go to the deuce. I mean, I don't, I don't need to clear by five points. I just want to take more men off. I don't, I just go to the deuce, I like this, I want to keep that point, you know, whatever. Well, it's clearly you could play three to one, but I think this is better. So he does this. Uh, anyway, two six, brings a guy in. All right, maybe he gets a shot. Oh, he didn't. Okay, he didn't. All right, but we know that he's in, you know, we, the question is, will there be a gammon? Only if he rolls threes or better. Even aces is very strong. All right, how many men off is it? I can't even see. Four, three. It's closer than we think because he's like one, one roll away. Three, two, is that a bad miss? I can't tell. Eight men, so he's equal. Oh, four, one is bad. So you mean a, a, a double here and he's a favorite? Oh, he did? Oh, he did, he's, no, he's not even. He's not even. Oh, what a big miss with the deuce. Oh, he needs another one now. What a big miss with that deuce. He did? Oh! I don't believe it. We have a new world champion. A new world champion. He did it. He did it. That was unbelievable. What a great match. Oh, thank you all. I think it was a tremendous match. Both played fairly well. It was a very difficult match. And we do have a new world champion. Thank you, Neil. It was a pleasure to work with you. I really appreciate it, buddy. Pleasure to help you here, Falafel. Let's do it again soon.